Okay, Lorenzo, we've got your rear axle here with the new ring gear in place, uh, covered with uh, bluing. Um, Steve is holding the flashlight. Okay. And uh, we've got the uh, new uh, pinion. And uh, the bluing is to show us the marking uh, of the uh, teeth, the meshing of the teeth. Yeah, what we've done is we've <clears> actually <throat> completely assembled this. <clears throat> and then we've used a drill to actually run the axle like the car was driving it. There's the drill. You can see how big the drill is to do this. It's a big, big drill. <clears throat> so we use the drill and we actually spin <clears throat> and we put a load on this it's like it's driving the car so that the teeth are actually turning against each other and, and under load and meshing so that they're scraping together like like they would be in service so this gets installed in here and then the uh, axle tube is bolted in place and so it's all partially assembled in order to test it right come over here and we show you what we're looking for and this is the meshing of the teeth that we're supposed to get, the wear pattern. And you can see the correct pattern here and the incorrect. The dark spot is what we're after. The dark, the dark part here on the picture is what we're trying to get. <clears throat> Only it's going to be the opposite here. It's going to be a light spot. Yeah, but it means that, yeah, the dark shows what we want, but in reality, it's where the teeth mesh and physically squish away the the bluing right so that's not going to be a dark spot it's going to be a light spot and now we're going to try to show you that we're going to come detail. over here on this and you can see the blue and get the light here at a that, pretty good you're, angle. Good, you're good right there that's good well, i'm just trying to get the most contrast here so that you can see we have the dark dark part of the blue on the leading part and across the top and then here at the trailing part let me get try to get enough light to see but not so much that it washes it out no it's good you can see the pattern and you can see right here in the center is we have a nice little oval where it's gray which is more closer to the color of the tooth rather than the blue that's around it and that's the point where this tooth is contacting this tooth Let me get on the other side of you. <clears throat> on this gear. And we look at this gear and we can see that we have contact right along here, but we have nothing at the very front and nothing at the very rear. And we have a little bit of empty spot right here across the top. So that means this part of this tooth is touching the middle of the other tooth, which is exactly what we want. That means that the load is right in the middle of both teeth in the strongest part of the teeth and has the, the best, smoothest engagement. And you notice we don't have any, in the, um, the thing contacting down here. You don't want it down in the, the teeth to be buried so deep that the it removes the bluing down here, so we don't have any contact down there. Right, so and we also deep. and we also have. We come back over here. You can see that there's there's blue up here, which means the very edge of the tooth is not actually getting load on it, which means that we're not actually focusing on the edge and potentially going to snap it off. We're actually here in the meat of the tooth where it's the strongest. And that's what the problem was with the original was that they were too deep as i recall yeah they had it was offset up and so it was concentrating the load on the wrong part of the tooth on the pinion gear which is the gear in here uh, and overheated and that's it. what caused it to burn up and and cook and get all striped up and everything else so we think we've got success so now we got to clean everything up and then start sealing it up and, and assembling it all right thanks lorenzo bye